Hello and welcome back to more dot hack outbreak. When we last left in the last video, Pyros wanted us to go with him in exchange for information. And even though we were like, it's okay, we don't need your information, he was like, great, we're gonna go to this place now. So now he's standing by the warp gate. It doesn't look like I can advance in the story without going on the mission to the place that he wants to go. So that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's go see what Pyrrhus wants. Just gonna add him to the party. Hark! He of fair eyes! Let us join in an adventure! Hark! We shall do that. Uh, let's see who else we're gonna take with us. I think Terajima is the lowest level, but I don't want to run double heavy axemen. So we're gonna find somebody else to bring with us. Uh, Mia still can't go with us. So, 352. 246, if Elk decides to go with us, let me just check. I don't think he will. He's not answering. He's got Mia problems to deal with. 77. Looks like we're gonna bring Marlo with us. Oh, all right. Keep your pants on. All right. I think most of them have. Yeah, he's got a fire dragon. That rare thing. Fire beast, fire hands. He's fired all over the place. Uh, you could use some better feet. But I don't have better feet on me. I actually just went through and organized my storage and sold a bunch of stuff. And if it's not level 60 armor, I ain't holding on to it. So, let me go save the game. Because, uh, funny story of that last video, I didn't save the game. I ended my video, I got up, and I turned off the PlayStation and forgot to save. So I had to come back and uh, do that last mission over again. Fun times. You get so used to like auto saves and stuff like that, but even when I was younger too playing this game, I would do the same thing. And it was during a time before auto saves. Uh, let's see, wordless. We are going to dying windmills. Nay. It's a level 57 area of darkness. So here we go. Luckily, it's not data protected. Alright, I see a fountain here. Oh, let's go with our fairy zor. <laughs> Lots of things here. Yeah, when I came back the second time around, I did not clear the field. I just went straight to the dungeon so I could get to this mission. Here we go, we're fighting ghosts. I don't know why I ran towards him.
in our Because I am going to be running out of this. Fireball gave us the healing spell. So I'm just gonna have everybody strengthen while I go through and cast my own strength. Ricky! Joosh. The audio on that. supposed to be one fight. I'm gonna go through, clear the field, and uh, we'll be back at the last fight. And then we're gonna go check the spring and go in the dungeon. And I'll be right back. Ah, for the spring of mist. The spring has a... Actually, let me see. What equipment I have on me. Now we got this fire track. Maybe I should throw that in. See if it does anything. We got the spectral blades or specter blades. But I don't think it'll level up. I think it'll make it worse. You could try it. See what happens. The spring. Uh, which one do I want to do? I have both of them here. They get both benefit from this. Let's do that. I'm gonna throw in the fire dragon. See what happens. Grim, was it a golden axe you dropped? Or was it a silver axe? It was neither. What? Neither one? That's correct. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, then is it this? Maybe. See you later, alligator. After a while, a crocodile. Hmm. Did this item get weaker? I am very glad I didn't throw my blades in. Fire Lion Hood. I just noticed when he flew into the sky too, there's like these giant floating eyes. We can't really see them. Uh, in the ceiling. I wish I could. I wish they had like a first person view. So these things that are cast in the shadow are like giant eyes that are looking at me. Here we go with the final portal. 
and it's a treasure chest. Wasn't that exciting? All filled portals open. Now we go to the dungeon, which is inside this person's mouth. You're just in there like, ah! I ate an entire corridor and three floors or four, maybe five. I wasn't counting when I put it in my mouth. <laughs> There's staircases inside my body now. All right, let's see. Hit it with the fairy's orb. <clears throat> just a big giant cross. Um, this game's weakness is like a very darkness intolerant, and they're darks, which makes it perfect for the thunder dance. Corona blade, which is not that great. Summon knight. Let's go in here. Yeah, right. See. Oh, everybody gets a band-aid. from that break and we'll go over here and we'll go see what's in this room it's got two portals so it could be terrifying I just got to make sure not to move to activate the second portal we just want the first portal for now oh god it's such a Seeing as we're the only ones that seem to want to actually cast spells, Arlo, pick it up. Chaos spell. There we go. First floor done. Let's move on. Let's go to the second floor. Or second basement level, however you want to say it. Resistance up even further. 
It's the starfish. Starfish monster. At the moon. Um, yes, we'll go here. It's a chest. It's not a chest. It's a starfish. Lose your skins. Just stand a chance, everybody here has fire attacks. The moon! It's a rip same. <laughs> but not a rip key. Golden eggs. Alright, let's move forward. We got uh, another treasure. Imps like me. Say these guys are fifty nine. What you got? A I got a something for you. You damn fool. There's no way I could repay you for this! Yeah. Anything else I have that's really for you guys. No, we're good. No one sorts for a heavy blade, and Marlo's a blade master. Oh god, this thing. Crack! Crack. I swear that's what I'm here. Uh, we are looking for the moon.
could not move because it's gonna activate that back portal, and I don't need that happening just yet. Alright, well luckily it was just a treasure. Bloody eight. Yeah, you are. Keep it going. Those uh flying thing with the eyeballs, that thing. Thing looks weird, huh? How about that? It looks like uh hanging testicles with eyes all over it. And wings. It's balls with wings. Parasol. Is this the last floor? It might be. Just maybe. You're supposed to go into uh, one of these rooms and say a certain spell that Puro snows. And we get rare items for it. Wrecking Pearl. Any option. Do you want to say Wrecking Morrow is a twin blade? It is level 37. Gives you Thunder Dance, gives you Tempest Strike, gives you the level 3 Thunder Weapon Attack. I'm, I'm gonna do the things where I'm like holding on to daggers of different element types that I don't have. Bloody age! We're at the statue. This is the last floor. Ice leg mail, ivory beret, scarlet plate. Ice leg mails for one of these two guys. Level 64. You got a level 54. You got a level 59. So it looks like Puros is the winner. Oh. You didn't hear how excited he was. Oh! How splendid! My thanks to you, you are the greatest of friends! Yeah, I know. Alright, let's go. Healing potion. The dragon. Just oh, skills. I'll hit him with the hanged man, see if it works. It worked. All portals open, and then we're just gonna bombard this dragon with a wood spell. We're just gonna lay this wood all over this dragon. Just be a cutscene with a little silly interaction because you know if it's Pyros, could be he's gonna cast some type of spell and a monster is gonna appear in front of us and I'm gonna have to deal with the fight. So let's see what happens. Yes, this is it. It must be here. All right. Sri Jaya Wardena Purakote. Sri Jaya Wardena Purakote. Sri Jaya Wardena Purakote. Huh? Kite receives sticky helm, smelly armor, rotting hands, dog hat. Use disposable contacts. <laughs> Give me those items. I was the one who gave you the information, so I believe that this is fair. Sure, but what are you... <laughs> I really want them, friend. Please understand. I gave the items to Pyrrhus. Friend, I'll put them on right now. Okay. Oh, what? What? Th this is. <laughs> Turn to Morge again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
Pyrrhus is cursed. Pyrrhus is asleep. Pyrrhus is confused. Pyrrhus is charmed. <laughs> Pyrrhus is poisoned. Pyrrhus is paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what an unpredictable world it is! Live long and prosper! Let's meet again! <laughs> That's hilarious. I was like, this is a crazy amount of rare items that's gonna give me. I'm gonna have no space in my storage for any of this. All right, and I'm sure in order to continue on, I'm gonna get messages like that. And uh, have us go back to the dashboard to advance further in to the story of Dot Hack Upper. Make sure to save it. Can't forget to save it. Only a fool would do that, right? <laughs> uh, so there you have it, folks. That was the mission. That's what Pyrrhus wanted. Pyrrhus got his silly shenanigan rare items that he was looking for. And the next time that we come back is going to be when we go see what messages we have. I'm sure there's new board posts. I wouldn't be surprised if I've got another Golden Gob race waiting to happen. And you know what, actually, before we go, I want to check something. Remember last game when we kept going back to Hidden Forbidden Holy Grail? And it would have some type of uh, thing going on with it? Let's go do that. Let's go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground and uh, see if it has, like, another memory in it. We'll take Marla with us. Because as we've advanced a bit into this game, so I'm just going to assume after advancing a certain point that these memories show up. So we'll try again. Because there's a lot of hidden areas in this game that you got through the anime. And since those memories were anime references, maybe we'll find another one. No? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, I'll just end it here then. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Outbreak. Goodbye. <laughs>